Hello and welcome to The Print. I'm Saurav Roy Burman. Um, joining us today in this special interview is Pradyod Bikram Manikka Dev Burma, the founder of Tipra Motha political party and who is also the scion of the Manikya dynasty, which uh, ruled the kingdom of Tripura from late 13th century till uh, Tripura signed the instrument of accession with the Union of India on October 15, 1949. Welcome, sir. Hi, um, hi Saurav. So on Thursday, Tipra Motha, uh, which was Tripura's uh, principal opposition party until day before yesterday, joined the ruling alliance led by the BJP. And uh, two of Tipra Motha MLAs, including mm -hmm. one who was the leader of the opposition, he joined the ministry mm -hmm. as cabinet ministers. So, sir, from um, one end of the spectrum to the other, what explains this change of heart? No, there was never a change of heart. I was being very honest from day one. Sort of, you know me for a long time. Uh, and uh, you know what I've been saying. I wanted an assurance from the any other political party that if they support our constitutional solution in writing, we will ally with them. If you don't give it to us in writing, we will not go with them. So neither the Congress, nor the BJP, nor the Communists agreed before the Assembly election. The B BJP did call me and they offered it. But then I said, since you are in the center, I would rather go with the assurance, not from your party, but from the government of India. Once the government of India has given it to us in writing, then I guess uh, we will uh, explore this uh, chance of uh, sending two of my ministers, uh, two of my MLAs as ministers in their cabinet to keep the pressure that our accord is signed at the earliest and implemented, I'm sorry. Not signed, but signed, sorry, signed, but implemented at the earliest. So apart from getting two cabinet berths, so is get also uh, getting the opportunity to field uh, a Lok Sabha candidate from the East Tripura seat also a part of the deal? No, it isn't. I have already told them that I want to send, uh, you'll have to send someone who will go to Delhi. Uh, I don't care which party, which symbol, but the person who should go should uh, be uh, uh, a choice of ours because we are very well aware that whosoever has gone in the past has tried to curtail or to uh, uh, cause roadblocks in our demand for greater Tipra land or constitutional solution. I want to uh, be very uh, clear that I want to send someone to Delhi. I don't care from which party, but the individual who will go to Delhi will have to support our demand in Delhi and help put pressure on Delhi also to implement various uh, facets of the uh, uh, for the framework of the agreement. So, um, so as we speak, you must be in talks with the BJP leadership to pick that face. I have already uh, told them what is my view, and now let them decide. Let them decide. But my view is very clear. I don't, uh, anyone who is opposed to our constitutional solution will not be acceptable to us. Right. There, there were some uh, speculations that uh, you are also maybe planning to nay, forward see, your sister's uh, sort name. Of, sort of, uh, I'll tell you, um, first, my sister's name, okay. We'll look up, we'll think about that. Let the party take a decision. My name was, of, my I was offered. It is too uh, difficult for someone like me uh, to so soon sign an agreement and then myself go there. If I myself personally occupy the chair, then uh, it would make it, uh, it would lighten the depth of the agreement. And I would like to remain out of the system and put pressure from outside. While my two uh, MLAs who will be in the cabinet will put pressure in the cabinet and the Lok Sabha MP, whoever the person will be, will put pressure on them from the center. Because it's very clear that uh, I have taken this uh, decision after a lot of consideration. My personal view, uh, my personal uh, regard for various individuals who may not be a part of the system still remains. But I have to also look at uh, a solution. And I also know that today, the only one who can give a solution as of today, if they are sincere, is the government of India. Right. So, but then, you know, the, ever since you uh, joined the alliance, the ruling alliance, there is a perception that, you know, uh, more than Tripra Motha, mm. BJP stands to gain from this arrangement, much more than you. How would you address yeah. that or respond to that? No, I am not, see, sort of uh, being very blunt, huh? tribals stand to gain. If tribals gain, 
then I have no problem. But if tribals don't gain, the indigenous people, then I have a problem. Now, mm. if by finishing my party, I can ensure that my tribal people get their land rights, their financial rights, their, uh, their language and a script and our, uh, and our aspirations, political aspirations, then I have no problem uh, finishing uh, my identity, my political party identity. It is a movement. A movement should always be bigger than the party itself. So if the tribal people are gaining, then why not? If the tribal people are not gaining, then absolutely I will not dilute my identity. So that's why I've not completely uh, uh, put all my eggs in one basket. I have remained out. I know I'm the face of the movement. And I will be a watchdog. And uh, for me, it does not matter uh, if I become a cabinet minister or an MP. For me, what matters is what I can deliver to my uh, Tiprasa people who have been uh, under a lot of uh, uh, hard and uh, I also uh, uh, would like to state that the Home Minister of India himself has said that mistakes have been made in the past. Mistakes have been made in the past and now we'll have to look how to solve them in the future. This statement by the Home Minister of India has never happened before in the history of Tripura. The government of India, whosoever it is, whether it is Congress, whether it was Janata Dal or today BJP, nobody has accepted their mistakes, the policy mistakes of the government of India towards the indigenous people of Tripura. So today we have got them till here. This is a step in the right direction. Is this the final step? Absolutely not. And so for that, we'll have to be uh, very vigilant. So um, when, you, when the Union Home Minister referred to certain mistakes committed by governments in the past, what do you think he was referring to? What are those mistakes, if you can list? When you allow, when you allow scores and scores of people from Bangladesh to come in or East Pakistan to come in, Without re of course, we have to rehabilitate uh, uh, people who were uh, persecuted in Bangladesh. But to put all of them in one state of Tripura and then to overlook the, uh, the rights of indigenous Tripuris who are the natives of the land was a mistake of the government of India. And the government of India should have been more sensitive to the uh, problems of Tripura. After all, when we merged with India, we merged with India so that we could protect our land, our culture, our language, our identity. Today, what has happened after 75 years? So the government of India has acknowledged that they have made mistakes. Whether it was anybody else, that's an irrelevant matter. But the government of India does not belong to a party. It belongs to the government. It belongs to the people. And Amit Shah, by mentioning that, has agreed that there were mistakes made in the past. But purely in terms of the agreement, I mean, if you keep aside set aside his statement, all the political rhetoric. Mm -hmm. If you focus on the agreement that you signed, it was barely mm -hmm. a page long. And you know, many your critiques and many other political parties, opposition parties have been pointing out that similar agreements have been signed in the past, but did not uh, bear any fruit. For which, example, which, they have been pointing please, out- Please tell me, please tell me which agreements have been signed in the past. I mean, uh, take for instance, the, the committee set up by the MHA in 2018, Responding no, no, to no, the please, demand please of the IPSD. Uh, Saurav, mm. Saurav, you're a very intelligent reporter. I know that. Mm. Mm. But please be clearly, because uh, I also do know a few things. Committee set up and an agreement between government of India are two different things. In that committee, who were the uh, partners? No, sir, even that agreement no, pointed no, no, out please, that. Please, uh, please, please, please. I'm sorry. Mm. You said various. Mm. I'm going to the mm. point. Let's stick to the points. Right, right. right. I want to know who signed a similar agreement in the past. I mean, one of the most successful agreements, the peace accord. No, no, you said about the 2018. You talked about mm. 2018. Who who signed that agreement? In 2018, the high powered committee set up by the MHA also, committee is also different. spoke about committee examining. Is different. Uh, the committee is different. This is mm. different. Who mm. signed the high power? It was JP Nadda and NC mm. Barma. That's the agreement between two parties. This mm. is an agreement between the government of India and us, with state government as a witness. That's the difference. There's a big difference right. in a committee, and there's a big difference in a agreement which has been signed. This is signed by two sovereign parties hoping to solve the problem of the indigenous people. Coming back to the TNV agreement, when TNV agreement was signed, what did uh, the Communist Party say? 
that Vijay Ramkhol has sold his movement to Rajiv Gandhi and Congress. When TTADC agreement was uh, uh, signed with Shama Charan Tripura and Nagendra Jamatia and Drau Kumar Riyang, these are three stalwarts. What was said by uh, the Communist Party? That TUJS has sold the Tiprasa's aspiration uh, to Indira Gandhi. What happened? In the end, TTADC was created. And all those people who told that Shama Charan Tripura, Drau Kumar Riyang and Nagendra Jamatia had sold, then today are applauding TTADC for the creation, their role. Everyone who said that Vijay Rangkhal sold himself to Rajiv Gandhi, today everybody is saying that Vijay Rangkhal, because of his TNV accord, three seats were given. Now, people will call me everything. And once uh, tangible results come on the ground, then they'll say, ha ha, point. Tha. So, please go into the context. I'm a student of history. I go into the context. The agreement between IPFT and BJP is an agreement between two parties. I have not signed an agreement with any party. I've signed an agreement with the government of India and a state government being witness to it. That's a big difference. And what you have this seen agreement is a, what you have seen. You said a page long. That's a preamble. That's a, a framework. Right. The framework is followed by other details. I am privy to those details. Of course, I can't tell you those details. Because if I tell you, then tomorrow, people in both sides will try to create a situation where tribals and Bengalis are seen as enemies and a Manipur-like situation will be created. So I am actually keeping silent because I don't want to hurt any sentiment before an election because politicians and political people will take advantage of it. And who will suffer in the end? Our people will suffer. People who belong to my community, people who belong to another community, they will suffer for it. So I don't want to do anything which will take the attention away from the real issue, which is political rights, language and script rights, our land, our economic conditions, and our cultural and historical uh, uh, sense of uh, 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 protection. So this agreement also talks about setting up a joint committee, a joint yes. working committee. Mm -hmm. So who will be the members of that committee, sir? I will give. I am giving names today. I am meeting people who are uh, who are from uh, who are not party to this agreement, but they are mm -hmm. in the agreement itself because they are directly uh, 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 affected by it. I am meeting them today. Now, if I tell you who I'm meeting, then everybody mm -hmm. will say, Ugrupanti hai. So, I'm doing a lot of things which is behind the scene because I want to help my community. And I am going to give names, but I'm also making subcommittees because I do, up, now the ball is no longer in the court of the politician. Now, I want uh, academicians, historians, people who have understanding of legal uh, land laws, people who have been displaced. I want them to be there who have an understanding of our history, our uh, legalities, and now is not the time for us to make bhashans in a committee. It is to go and point out technical and legal errors and how they can be rectified or amended in the constitution so that there is a better future for all of us. Right. So, you know, a clause in your agreement, it, it specifically says that... Uh, framework is there. Uh, just framework. You have seen the framework. The preamble yeah. of India also has a framework. But then there are more articles. You are saying it's just a preamble. Yes, that's a preamble. So, that, huh. so I'm just if putting you do a line. Not have, if you do not have, ah, you're talking about agitation. Yeah, no, I'll agitation. just read out ah. that line for our viewers. For our viewers, ah. I'll just read, read that out. That all stakeholders shall refrain from resorting to any form of agitation protest till an honorable solution is reached. Hmm. So does it not deny you an opportunity from you know hitting Sakhi the streets with your core demand? No, 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 no. Satyagraha ko is desh mein rokne se kisne roka hai? Main kal agar bhuk hartal mein phir se chala jau, koi mujhe rok sakta hai. Ye Mahatma Gandhi ka desh hai. And okay. if they are telling me not to protest, they are also, it's all parties, just not Tipra Motha. Even they cannot protest if something is passed. If today a, la a, a land bill is passed and some people in another party are upset, they cannot protest. Because all parties also means the party which uh, belongs to the Chief Minister of Tripura, which also belongs to no. the Home Minister of Tripura. Today, I have also told them that they have no right to protest if something comes out positive. And agar bhugartal satyagraha mein jana hai, to kaun rok sakta hai? Satyagraha is my right. Ha, of course, we don't want to have road blockades. We don't want to have violent protests because this is the first agreement, sort of, when you are a 
citizen of Tripura, apart from being a citizen of India. This is the first time not a single bullet has been fired. Nobody has died. In a peaceful way, we have come to an agreement with the government of India, whosoever it is, whether it's BJP, Janata Dal or Congress. We have actually managed to get the government of India to sign and acknowledge that there is a problem in Tripura without a bullet being fired. We have been far, far too long accused of being communal. Uh, Ugrupanti, aaj wahi log ne ye agreement ko sign karwaya hai without one life being lost or a bullet being fired. I think people should actually acknowledge that also. Right. You know, as you rightly pointed out, both of us are from Tripura. You know, for those who are not from Tripura, because people across the country and the world will be watching us. You know, if you can explain to them what is Greater Tripura Land, this entire concept? Greater Tripura Land is a desire country. to have a separate state under Article 2 and 3 within the Indian constitution. There are many villages and village councils which are outside the ADC area. I want there are 36 VCs which are outside uh, the concept of uh, uh, ADC. I want to bring them ADC together. ADC is basically right. autonomous district council. Yes. Right. And now, every you know what the Greater Tipra Land is. I know what the Greater Tipra Land is. But there are many people who would not want to know what Greater Tipra Land is because it doesn't suit them. The point is, okay, that is my view. If the government of India has a better idea, put their view across. Now when we have a committee, we will talk. If they can convince me, well and fine. If I can convince mm -hmm. them, well and fine. You know, uh, Shankaracharyas and the Buddhist monks also had uh, debates. And whoever got convinced went the, uh, the other way. So today we are going to have a debate as well. We are going to have a negotiation. We also have a mm -hmm. historical right. And let us uh, put forward our point and let's see what happens. You're saying it's a solution. You're looking for a solution on Article 2 and 3 of the Constitution of India. No, I'm saying according to me, hmm. that is the solution. Now, if the government of India has a better point of view, which can convince my people, then I'm willing to listen. But Article 2 and 3 deals with uh, deal with uh, separate state creation that of is separate my state. View. That is my view. Hmm. If hmm. they have a better view, well and fine. First, Put forward your view. Hmm. They have to also put forward the view. Jab baat hoga, tab hum sunenge. Unko bhi mera baat sunna chahiye. Hamko bhi unka baat sunna chahiye. Lekin solution to lana padega na. So you have been in talks with the BJP High Command, the leadership for many, many months now. So you must have I've been kept in, your no, uh, I'm point sorry, of view. I'm going, to, I'm going to make a... I've been in talks with the Home Minister of India. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have not been in talks with J.P. Nadda. I have not met Mr. J.P. Nadda even once. I have been talking to the Home Minister of India. The Home Minister of India is a Home Minister for all of us. I have not met J.P. Nadda even once. Uh, he is the person who is heading the BJP. I have not met him till the agreement was not signed. And even after that, we have not met or, or spoken over the phone. Fair. Whenever, I mean, uh, so you met the Union Home Minister multiple times and you had, yes. had meetings with him yes. where you must have broached this, you must have spoken about a solution under Article 2 and 3. How did he respond? How did he respond to that during uh, he doesn't in those speak, meetings? He, he doesn't speak very much. He says he'll refer it to a committee. He has not said yes, but he's also not said no. Yes, sir. He said that he hasn't he was, said no. He, yeah. no, and he's not said yes as well. He said he'll, he'll, he'll refer it to a committee. He'll see what happens. See, this is my constitutional right. Right to religion. I mean, unless there's a law which is passed in the parliament which says that the people of Tripura have no right to ask this, but people of Bundelkhand have a right to ask, people of Vidarbha have the right to ask, people of uh, Simanchal have the right to ask, people of uh, any other part of India have a right to ask this, but people of Tripura don't have the right to ask this, and they pass that in the parliament, I will keep quiet. But till the time it is there, I have a right to ask. I will write. I'll ask. So, you know, uh, so BJP came to power in Tripura in 2018. And uh, so it formed its second government last year. So how would you rate its performance compared to the left years? And the left is often credited with, you know, tackling insurgency in Tripura. So how would you rate the BJP government's performance so far? I would uh, be very honest. Uh, mm -hmm. 
we were we had more expectations from the bjp government unfortunately uh, while they have delivered more than the cpm hmm. that's because they have also have a government in center and there is no paucity of funds uh, the tribal areas have not developed under the government of uh, tripura government and it did not develop even more so under the cpm if the government of tripura wants to bring in sabka saath sabka vikas then they cannot leave adc out and bring in sabka vikas so you have been governing the uh, autonomous district council no uh, i've been paying been the salaries years. no i'm sorry i've been paying the salaries in the autonomous district council we do not have money to govern or to create new projects because only the money which has been given to us is 90% gone to paying the salaries so in the last two and a half years maximum i've done is pay salaries because the money has not been given to enhance the budget so naturally one of your demands would be to give more part to the district council that would imagine uh, yes absolutely absolutely not not pura all over district council all, all of these needs to be uh, amended and uh, uh, we need to have more power you know um after joining the bjp alliance we saw something happen with the ipft we saw how its public support its popular appeal get completely decimated after they joined the government in 2018 mm. and there are fears that something similar might happen with tipra motha so how do you plan to prevent that predicament first thing when ipft joined uh, bjp their support did not go mm. it went after mother bari shootout happened mm. Mm. right i was a congress uh, working president i took the ipft support out because i had personally spoken to nc de barma at that time and i told him yahan mein goli laga hai you should put pressure or you should resign and you put pressure on the government because action needs to be taken against police who shot up people now if something similar happens in tripura it will take me 2 seconds to tell my ministers to resign and show solidarity with the community i hope it does not happen i don't want any lives to be lost any violence to take place but i am very clear that if injustice is happening then my ministers in the cabinet cannot stay silent second mm. ipft made two fundamental mistakes which tugs never made ipft's president nc de barma and ipfc's general secretary mewar kumar jamatia two top leaders the top two leaders became minister the day the top two leaders of a party become ministers then what happens is ministerial post become bigger than the party post i have not joined the ministry neither has bk rangkhol and i have learned from history uh, sorav i am a student of history till the time bala saab thakre was outside the government he could put pressure on any of the state government whether they were ruling or they were out because he was away the day his son Udav Thakre and his grandson Aditya became a part of a government as chief minister and minister. They stopped becoming the conscience keeper and a torch bearer of a movement. That's why I've kept myself out of the government or of any MP post. So the Bala Sahib model is something that you uh, look up to. Not only Being Bala Sahib, but Bala Sahib is not a part even, of even even Mahatma Gandhi ji. he did not become he didn't he, he he didn't become the prime minister of india nehru was there sardar patel was there gandhi was alive gandhi was alive till 48 he did not take the post today even if you look at bjp who is the top top most hindu leader in the country according to the bjp plan of thinking it is mohan bhagwat the rss chief he is not the, the prime minister of india the prime minister of india has to be a prime minister of all indians the prime minister of india has to be a prime minister of hindus muslims christians sikhs isais everyone rss head has to be the leader of his community or so called what he thinks is his hindutva community i am a leader of my community i don't aspire the top post i will keep a watch a vigil on my ministers and my mlas so that they don't do anything wrong okay. so so it's uh, just not bala saab thakre it is gandhi ji it is uh, many other leaders 
who have done this before i mean the fact is you have also been a part of the congress party and uh, i i and you, i you and have, i i have and i have been very proudly a congress member i have hmm. never said for a one day that i feel i felt ashamed being in congress there are many other leaders who have left the congress party and criticized the gandhis till today and till now i will never criticize sonia gandhi ji or priyanka ji or Raj, rahul gandhi and i have never said that i uh, was sad when i was in congress but the requirement of time was that i had to show affiliation to my indigenous people and i took a call to support my community and i am doing that even today but i don't have to hate congress to uh, love my people i still hold them in personal high regard and i will continue to do so just because i've joined bjp does not mean that they become bad today you know that brings me to my next question uh, one of the reasons you walked out of the congress party was the fact that the congress did not support your stand on the citizenship amendment act no nrc no. nrc okay mm. ca happened much later mm. my original stance was i'd file for nrc and i was told by the uh, general secretary of the party mr luisino falero that i should withdraw my nrc petition otherwise my presidentship would go ca happened two months after i resigned from i resigned on the 23rd of uh, 24th of september and ca was stable sometime in the end of november but i'm uh, and i still oppose ca have... and i still oppose yeah. ca because i think it's unfair mm. and that's in the uh, supreme court it's my case in the supreme court i believe that in the northeast ca should not be implemented and if it has to be implemented then we need stricter provisions to ensure that while ca may be implemented all over india in northeast we need certain more guarantees which they should do so the union home minister has recently announced that ca will be implemented before the elections let him implement it my case is still in the supreme court hmm. so did this also figure in your discussions no i have having exempting northeast from ca no i have been very clear my position is my position that's my position and the matter is in the supreme court hmm. and according to me the supreme court is the highest law making body in the land recently they quashed the order on electoral bonds hmm. they have uh, pulled up uh, many uh, uh, they pulled the state gov- uh, central government many times so i'm 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 sure that i have nothing against displaced people being given refuge in india they deserve it i have no problem i just think that in certain states where people have already done so they should be exempted from doing it once again right you know uh, we have had extensive discussions in the past and uh, where you have said that you are not really comfortable with the bjp's brand of politics the kind of politics it practices and now you are a part of the bjp led alliance so how comfortable would you be uh, working with them see since you don't I'm... really identify with their politics no so i'll be very honest uh my personal view does not matter what matters is what goes to my people in the end i am talking to the government of india i did not choose this government the gov- the people of uh india largely chose this government i have to engage with the government of india mm. now mm. regarding bjp brand of politics there are many things which i don't agree with them i don't and even they know about it and even today i'll say i don't agree with many things and i think that they need to uh, uh take more people within their wings they should be uh, they should listen to people from communities which feel neglected and they should have more of an outreach uh why only um, uh, religious minorities i believe that uh, they should reach out to the tribals of uh, northeast uh, i believe that uh, they should uh, empower us with our own language so there are many things and i think that i am a very good hindu and i don't think that my me being a good hindu means that i need to look down upon other communities so i think that uh, even the bjp can learn from the true sanathanis like us the nature worshipers like us who despite being hindu are very accommodative so yes i stick to my stance they need to uh, uh, i i i think that politics followed by vajpai ji was uh, the best version of bjp i still believe in that and there is no uh, two reasons say that why sh- i should change my position today there are many things i don't like about the congress i don't think that too much of minority appeasing appeasement helps there are many things i dislike about the communist they are anti business 
they uh, they don't want growth for every uh, reason they have unions shutting down uh, business establishments they have kept people poor so there are many things uh, that i disagree with other parties also but i have worked with the congress so i yes. don't have a problem with that there so are many things I'm sure they don't huh? like that. there are sort of there are many things i think they don't like about me probably uh, the way i'm speaking today they'll be upset but then i am who i am and i have to uh, say what i feel is the truth so people have a right to disagree with them and i have a right to disagree with them but we also have a right to work towards a solution and we both believe and i even i was talking to uh, uh, sudeep from the congress today is a cwc member and i said brother i i will always be fond of you i always love you but you have to understand my position he said yes i do understand your position that's it because you had talks with the congress leadership as well a few days no back. i've had talks with sudeep i've had talks with git sena and the fact is that i have to be realistic the congress is very weak right now the chance of congress coming to government and solving our problem is remote and the upa1 upa2 was there i was in the congress inpt which is earlier version of tipra matha was pressing for 125th amendment they did not do anything manik sarkar and the communists were in power for 25 years now they are saying constitution is under threat what about our tribal's constitutional rights on those 25 years when you gave us nothing now they are speaking that oh our language needs to be protected and it needs to flourish you imposed the language on us so this romeo juliet understanding actually da damaged the the congress party in tripura and we are victims of it today 80% of bjp is uh, uh congress made up of congress people yes and 30% of congress today went to bjp your present pcc president sudeep went to bjp in 2017 they were unhappy they came back. back but they went and joined the bjp and that's how bjp came to power till today i have not voted even once for bjp i voted for congress and now i voted for my party motha but i have not done it so why give me a lecture i am here giving something to my people now well, in this interview it's something uh, not entirely political you know acha <laughs> you are royalty you are royalty and uh, the fact is you, monarchy may not be officially recognized in india, in india anymore mm -hmm. the fact is there is this enduring appeal for uh, popular figures like you jyotiraj sindhya and many other uh, royal family members across india you have this political appeal you have some charisma and people flock to uh, listen to you to see you so what explains this phenomenon and is this healthy in a democratic uh, polity i think is very unhealthy hmm. that's it now go and change it <laughs> but you no, have no. grown up uh -huh. i you know me better No, no, you people don't want royalty on your people, sleeve. People, you don't do that at all. Huh? People, uh, uh, I still roam in Delhi in a eco black and yellow van. No, it's more of a sociological people, question. People, huh? No, no, people, no. You cannot club all uh, journalists as one. Can I compare you to Arnab Goswami? I, I hope not. Oh. Yeah. So I hope you don't compare me to the names you have given me before, though they may be related to me. Hmm. The fact is, hmm. my rise and my appeal. to my people came after i gave up my post and i went and i fought for my people i did not just turn up after my father died and people flocked to see me no that did not happen it took a good 15 years for me to come to where i am today and it came because of my education in shillong in the northeast where my all my friends were locals i grew up not playing polo not attending fancy five star parties but actually uh, 
being with my friends, listening to music, rock and roll, playing football, being just like you or me. I was a journalist, sort of, you know, just like yes. you are today. And you ran a magazine as an editor. Ran a magazine and an absolute failure because I did not know how to go and suck up to politicians to get advertisements. I did not do soft pieces, right? So my journey has not been uh, uh, very easy. Of course, being born in a family gives you an advantage, but you could even end up being like a Bobby Diol. And now when Bobby Diol is bounced back after uh, all these, it's because of his own uh, sheer personality and his perseverance. So let's not uh, uh, judge all journalists as one. I don't think that you would like to be compared to uh, the gentleman I mentioned. I also wouldn't like to be compared to Maharajas of different part of India. I am Bubagra to my people and I'm your friend. And I will continue to be your friend regardless of where you work because we like each other. Personal relationships, personal fondness and humility is the best way to go ahead. And in the end, if you are sincere and if you can be honest, I've been very honest with you today in, my, in you. I'm under a lot of pressure yes. to say the right things even today because I've so-called joined an alliance. I'm still the same person who met you 10 days ago and will be 10 days later. That's the most important thing. Be, I think we will automatically come. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for this discussion. God bless you. Thank God you. bless you.